Hello, this is Eddie Awad, and I'm going to demonstrate to you now how you can use Oracle Apex to upload files to a um, table as well as save this content to a file on the database server itself. So the first thing we need to do is to create a table that will store the blob content of the file itself. And by the way, uh, the content could be either um, binary or text. Um, we create the table. Uh, it's very important that the table has the uh, this list of columns and you'll see why uh, in a bit. Uh, then we create the sequence and the trigger to handle the automatic generation of the primary key. Um, and then we create a directory, um, a database object directory, um, that will uh, uh, we will use to store the file um, in. And by the way, I am doing this demonstration on my Windows 7 uh, machine uh, with Oracle 11G um, Express Edition, uh, which comes with Oracle Apex version 4. Um, built in. So the next thing we need to do is to create the application in Apex. So this is uh, Apex. Um, we create a database application. Name it upload files. Hide a blank page. I don't want tabs. Accept the default authentication. I like red. Created. We edit the page. Uh, I want to create a region based, uh, a form based region based on a table, which is the table I just created. Accept the defaults. Uh, I want to. I want to select blob content. For now, it's only this column, um, and Apex will handle the the file upload um, automatically, as you will see, um, for any blob data type. Not interested in deletes or uh, saves. I'm only interested in creation. I can change that to upload. I want to when I submit. I want to re-load uh, the same page in this case, and I'm done. Before running the page, I'll go and edit it. Um, I can just delete this region if I want to, um, but I go to the P1 blob content Apex item that was automatically created. In this case I want the stores to be based on a uh, blob com specified an item source attribute and this is why I uh, created the table with these columns because Apex will populate them automatically for me if I put these values here. And I believe this is also case sensitive, so it has to be capital file uh, name here. Character set. And last uh, updated. So here's kind of the mapping to the table columns. I'm not interested in download links. And um, apply changes. So this is done here. Uh, so now, if I run, um, I should be able to. Um, don't look at this for now, but I should be able to see the record created here. So let's try it. 
So th as you can see, choose file. This button was automatically created for me by Apex. So um, that's pretty cool. So choose file. Uh, my data. This is just a sample text file I just created. And upload. Done. So I go back here and select from that X files uh, table. Here it is. Blob. You can see it from SQL Developer. You can actually see the values here. Now, um, this is not what I want 100%. I want to actually write the blob content to uh, the C temp directory on my server or any directory that uh, it is mapped to a directory object in the database. Um, so um, this is the code. The write blob to file is basically the PL SQL code that will handle this, that will read the, this blob content column uh, from this table and writes it out to, the, uh, to a file by this file name on the server. Um, I will publish this code uh, in, to my blog and, and you will be able to uh, read it there. But for now I'm going to just create the, the procedure because I'm going to be using it. So procedure created for testing. Let's run it. So I know that I have uh, ID 1 here. Um, so I pass it as a parameter and the files, this is the directory name. So if I uh, run it right now it's done. I I should be able to see here. It is. This is the file. the The source of the file is basically the block uh, content uh, column in the in my table. Here it is. So, um, but now I want the this procedure to be automatically called, if you will, or executed when I uh, upload the file in Apex. So that's fairly easy to do in Apex. I'll go back to the page and edit it. In this case, I'm going to add a processing, a page processing. Um, create a page processing. And in this case, is going to be PL SQL. Um, well, I can name it write to block to file. Um, I'm, it's going to be triggered on submit. So after I, uh, I submit and after computations and validations. And I am going to call this procedure. Uh, but first, uh, I will make sure that I will pass the P1 ID page item, which contains the primary key of the record that contains the blob content I want to uh, write to a file. So next. And I want to trigger it only when I click on the create or upload button. Create process. Um, oh, the process should be executed before resetting the page. Otherwise, the PID will be empty. So I'll change that to uh, 35, the sequence. So now this should work. However, there's one more thing I need to do which is uh, making sure that the PID contains the primary key that's just that was just created. Uh, so uh, I changed return key into item uh, P1 ID in the process row of X files processing by changes. So now I'm ready to test. So let's run. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose a file. So now here's a uh, Here's my C temp directory. Um, contains one file for now. I'm going to choose more data, which is another sample file I created. And I'm going to say upload. Action processed. Let's go and see if the file was created in the table. And here it is, ID number two, more data. It's cool. So um, I'm going to see content. There it is. Now let's go to the C temp. Here it is, automatically created on the server as well.